This is Trip, and welcome to my channel. Another fast food review today. Hope that you're having a very good day and a good week. And I invite you to subscribe, to like the video, and comment if you're so inclined. Today we're going to review the the Big Mac, the McDonald's Big Mac. This is the first time in forty or forty-five years that I've had a Big Mac. My question for you today is really, have you not tried the Big Mac? Usually I ask, have you tried it? But it's such a, it, it's such a, a well-known food item over the, the decades that I would think nearly everybody has tried it at one time. So, I also heard that they done, that made some changes to the Big Mac, had improved it, but did several things. I. I know this was true in Canada, possibly Australia. I don't. I just found out about this just as I was about to make this video. I was looking online, and it, and I've got some notes here. It said the improvements that was just in the last two or three months was was how they cooked it. They were improving how they cooked it, adding onions to the grill, to the actual grill, which was supposed to make it tastier softer buns and more sauce well I don't really care about having more sauce I'd rather some I'd rather have just a little good sauce I don't like everything splashed on a, on the Big Mac so I'm going to get into this before it gets cold it's in my food my food transport pod right here I think I'll eat first and talk about and talk about this a little bit later. Okay. It's a nice little box. time the Big Mac was invented they had these little boxes like this. So here we are. First time in 40, 45 years. I told them do not put any cheese on it. So this is the basic Big Mac except Lots of nice lettuce there, except with no cheese. Let the dining begin. Very nice little box here. I can't remember what the first ones looked like back in the middle 70s. And well, the late 60s, whenever I was eating these things for the first time. There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Big Mac. You 
can see the the three bones there and they have the two meat patties between the bones I've also got of course lettuce I don't see onions unless they're on the bottom. Hmm. I don't know. And it has a sauce on it. McDonald's sauce at the bottom on the other of this pan here. Hmm. I'm trying to recall the taste from nearly a half century ago. I vaguely remember the taste. I remember there was sort of an aftertaste to it, which I didn't really like that so much. I guess that's just a part of it, though. That's no, pretty good. It's pretty soft. The lettuce is, is good. It's fresh. Everything about it. I don't have any real complaints about it. This sandwich here has been around longer than most of you out there. This sandwich has been around since. Uh, when did it? When I actually looked this up earlier, 1967 is when the Big Mac was invented. So it's older than most of the people who are watching this video. college in 1974 to 75 and I would go in between classes at lunch I would go to McDonald's and I would get one of these I did that not all the time but sometimes frequently I guess you'd say and I would go park there by the by the city auditorium and there's some trees some oak trees and I would have my I would have my own um, 
my Big Mac, and that was in 74 to 75. I don't remember if I, when I got one after that. And by the way, there's something the economists use. It's sort of a, an informal index. It's called the Big Mac Index, and it measures the price of what it, what it costs to buy a Big Mac in different countries. And because of inflation and the, and the exchange, the exchange rate is really what it comes down to. Based on the exchange rate, what will a Big Mac buy in, in different countries? The Big Mac index. I'm not making this up. Using that index since 1986. Oh, yeah. The Big Mac is such a standard classic American fast food item. It's, some people consider it a symbol of American capitalism and even decadence. Oh yeah, we're decadent. It's kind of synonymous with the way the American culture goes everywhere. Like when I was in Europe, the first time there, there were very few McDonald's. This summer I was backpacking over there. And by the way, I have a whole series of 15 videos about backpacking in Europe in 73. So the second time I went in 82, there were a few more. There were more McDonald's. I haven't been back to Europe since then. But McDonald's is all over the world, as you all know. It is sad, though, how sometimes our culture overpowers over other cultures as far as as far as eating and dining. We have so many so many fast food places around the world that sometimes it crowds out and corrupts the local cuisine. <coughs> and I think that's so unfortunate. Yeah, but that's true even here. If you didn't have all these fast food places, there would have to be little local places, local cafes and restaurants that would that would fill the void. Oh, a pickle. Very nice, very nice tart taste of the pickles.
plain ice water. I will need my notes for this now. Jim Delegati was an early McDonald's franchiser in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and the Big Mac was developed in his in his restaurant's kitchen. The Big Mac was first called the Aristoc Aristocrat, then it was the Blue Ribbon Burger, and the third name, the final name, the Big Mac, was created by a secretary, an advertising secretary, named Esther Glickstein Rose. She was 21 years old and worked at the McDonald's corporate headquarters, wherever that is. So the Mac debuted at Delegati's Uniontown, Pennsylvania restaurant in 1967. It cost 45 cents. Supposedly it was, it was supposed to compete with the, with the Shoney's Big Boy hamburger. There aren't many of those restaurants around anymore, I don't guess. I remember the big boy, it was a kind of a plastic statue that was standing up outside the, the Shoney's Big Boy restaurants. And we had one here, and it closed several years ago. So this little thing cost, this sandwich cost 45 cents in 1967 and I paid $4.19 for it. So, it's almost 1960. It's almost a, it's increased in price by 10 times. Inflation, of course, like everything else. And the description of the, the classic description when the, the Big Mac came out was two all beef patties special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. And that still seems to be pretty true. And by the way, this sauce is, this special McDonald's sauce is put on with a, with a calibrated gun. Like, uh, at least that's what I've read. Like, it's in a special sauce that they ship to them from wherever it's manufactured and they have a, a gun that's how they put it on the on the burgers at least that's what I've read as far as nutrition forget about it enjoy it and I guess that's about everything I can tell you I'll conclude this video and, and wish you the best and I enjoy making these things and I enjoy reading and answering comments, so I hope you will so, in so doing, indulge me. Best to you, and I'll see you later.